Yo, 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 what's going on at Chain 187? Kicking with you because you're kicking with me. And I'm also kicking with this young fella right here. Special guest. Special guest host. Special guest annoyer. No, I didn't say that. Anyhow, so yeah, got some, um, I've got a really good story coming up about a, um, strange guy that, uh, he's more than a strange guy, he's, he's, he's very fucking different, he's a serial, he's what you'd call a serial killer, he's killed both of his kids, and he's killed his wife, all for a mistress that, <laughs> Obviously, by the sounds of it, may or may not have had any idea in what was, you know, going through his mind at the time. Nevertheless, she hasn't been charged. He has. He's been sentenced to life. Um, I really want to tell you about some of the um, ins and outs about this story because it's really... I don't want to use the word intriguing because it's it's just not intriguing. It is just bizarre. And for someone to just flip like this, um, just goes to show, you know, who, who the hell you living next door, you know, or who are you married to, or, you know, you can know these people for however long. But, um, yeah, after that, I'll talk about another little case that I've just come across as well. Um, and after that I'll tell you about, uh, Stand for Sophie. Have you heard for Stan Stand for Sophie? Stand for Sophie is something, a really good cause. It's not going to go away. It's better than the Me Too movement because it involves kids. Me Too movement was more, um, young adults, which really, at that age, in especially in America, they're driving cars. So... Obviously, they're making childish decisions, but they have the ability... If a 16-year-old shoots a man dead, he goes down as an adult. So, what I'm trying to say here is that... Um, yeah, I don't actually know what I'm trying to say. I've just went blank. That happens now and then. Anyhow... So, um, we've got a really sicko, that's my second, uh, crime scene I'd like to, uh, well, just investigation that I'd like to, you know, show you, take you through, um, but this main one, the Chris Watts, uh, story, it is just horrific, it is more than horrific, it will have you on the edge of your seats, this guy's a monster, um, and meanwhile, he just carries on like as if nothing's happened. I mean, t hours earlier, he's just killed someone. So I've got a lot of interviews with that. I've got some... Excuse me, Connor, can you turn that down, please? So anyhow, um, Chris... Yeah, Chris, uh, this Chris is an absolute monster. He's, uh, I've got a, long, a lot of things to share. I've got a lot of beautiful photos of the girls. I've got a lot of beautiful photos of Shan. Um, yeah, it's just really unfair, you know. Kids are our future. They don't need to go before their parents, especially bloody at the hands of their parents. That's a fucking joke, honestly. Anyhow, I'm Shane187. That story's going to come to you tomorrow. Want to put it together. Thanks very much.